Okay, under uh, plot, you say you see ICAD and monochrome, um, that you select monochrome, but still get a color print. Okay, under plot, you need to check to make sure that you have print with print styles and line weights selected. If you've got print without print styles and line weights, it won't matter what you have selected up here. So if I do a preview right now, we see that it's in grayscale. But if I select print without print style and line weights and do a preview, it's in color. So I think that's the problem you're running into. The other thing um, I think you needed an answer to was uh, how to print uh, your text in a, in a different uh, weight. Um, like I've shown you before, um, you can just pick a color, any color you want. Um, you could pick like even colors, say like 100, and, and just give it a heavier line weight here. So if I wanted some text to be a little bit heavier, a little bolder than other text, eh, I would just set this one to have a little heavier line weight. And then in my drawing, I would set whatever object or whatever text I wanted to print at that heavier weight to that color. So this test I would either set it to a layer that was that color or you can change that object to color 100 and we just type it in here or select it so 100 so now when I plot that it's going to plot bolder than everything else um, I don't think I've got I've got a print with line weights See, it's a little a little bolder. I don't have any other text. Or you can just go in and make this. If that's not bold enough, go in and pick that color again. Uh, 100. And give it a level even heavier line weight. And we'll see how thick it is now. So that's how you give text a, a heavier line weight and just pick a color you can pick any color you want and just give it a different line weight and you can see how thick it is now so you could pick even colors you could pick a, a color group you could do however you want but that's that's basically how you do it um, and you can leave your monochrome the same and create a new one um, by doing a save as so you could pick monochrome change your line weights do a save as and then give it your own file name whatever I usually do plats or something like that um, black and white plats whatever you want to call it so that's pretty much all there is to doing line weights and your plot and your monochrome and everything so um, that should get you going there um, how do I know which layer is active there seems to be three or more places to select a layer well it's telling me what layer I have selected is the current layer right here in this in this layer box okay um, I can also see what a layer is the default layer by going into the layer manager and whichever one has the check mark 
is my default layer so I can change my default layer if I was going to be working on roads I could chain, double click on that roads and change the current layer or the active layer whatever you want to call it to that particular layer and then close that out and now we see up here that my current active layer is roads now if I left click on an object it's going to tell me what layer it's on what color it is the line type and uh, the line weight so you can do that here um, you know, I showed you how to change the text weight using the plot style you could also do the same thing here by doing the line weight and changing it here um, and then it'll plot thicker also so there's several different ways of doing it I prefer to do it in the plot styles and set uh, whatever text I want to be a little heavier to that particular color I have set in the plot style manager but you can do it any way you want it's totally up to you um, let's see um, you said I could right click on an entity and it will tell me what size text um, etc uh, does not work for you um, I don't believe I said right click because right click is just to repeat a command um, uh, if I did say right click I that was a mistake you could right click on it and then do properties and that will take you into the properties explorer and that will show you the layer and all that information and the um, should tell you, show you the plot style that's selected and that's I didn't have the entity selected there um, and we see this height what the text contents is and you can even change it here if you double click on that field and type in text and it'll change it so that's just another way of changing the text on the screen and change the style here um, so you can you can do a lot of different things in your property manager also um, I think you had dual screen so you could actually take that uh, as you can see I can drag it over to I have dual screens also so I'm dragging it off to another screen that you can't see but um, so or I can just dock it back um, I think double clicking it docks, docks it right back if you double click up here in the in the gray area so that should answer your questions hopefully that'll get you back on track